day in Taliban South, a student was surprised with a video wall lorry and six husky dogs. A Cardiff University student studying geography entered a competition to have anything ticked off her bucket list. She chose an all expenses paid trip to Canada. The company organisers brought a video lorry and six husky dogs to Taliban South on the 12th of November and she spent the entire day walking the Huskies. We caught up with Izzy, the competition winner, and the event organisers to hear their side of the day. So what happened today? Well, um, we were cleaning our kitchen and then I got a FaceTime and I came out and there was all these dogs here and it said I won the competition. <laughs> so I think it was like four or five weeks ago. I saw a post on um, Emily Cannon, the YouTuber, posted it. So I went on the um, Uni Homes Instagram and put what I want to do on my bucket list. My name's Hannah Martin Singh and I am the brand manager for Uni Homes. How did this opportunity come about? Basically, we ran a huge campaign on Instagram called Win Your Bucket List and the idea is that people people would enter and they tag somebody else in the Instagram post and say where they'd like to go. We, we eventually got to Izzy, who's going to be going dog sledding in Canada. So yeah. we're going to be booking that for next year. And basically, to actually announce it, we wanted to do something a little bit special. So I'd got in touch with Izzy's sister, who actually lives in London, who put me in touch with Izzy's housemate, Paige. And um, I'd both, I basically spoke to Izzy and I said to her, you know, you've been shortlisted. Can I get some more information about you? And she said um, she really wanted to go dog sledding in Canada because she loved the film Snow Dogs and she stood in geography. And I really bought into her as a person. She's just great. It's just one of those really nice kind of good piece, like good news stories. It's yeah. in such hard times it's great to just have something really positive to focus on. Because at the moment, it kind of feels like we're stuck in this, like what's gonna happen, can we go anywhere? And her small bucket list has just been ticked off and she can know that she can go off to Canada, well, hopefully in a year's time. I've been Scarlett Reader with CUTV News.